list. Okay, good. Hello, I'm here. Sorry, I'm just behind, of course. I'm not always behind, but the problem is I really like to post the zero countdown when it hits zero, and Instagram doesn't give it to me until right on the dot. So then I like scramble to get it posted. Okay. Oh. Hi, hello. Yeah, I thought every stream for the past like month I've used the same color palette, so I thought I'd go with something different. And I'm working with um, my stash, or my scraps, I should say. Um, my whole goal this year is to use as many of my paper scraps as I can. So unless I absolutely have to, I'm trying to not cut into a full sheet of 12 by 12 pattern paper until later this year. So I have that big thing of scraps that I shared probably last stream or the stream before, I can't remember. And these are all from that. So I went through them and, oh, hello. Wow, so many people have joined. Yes, hi, hello. I was in my own little world just chatting away over here. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying now. It wasn't important. It was just me rambling. Hello, hello. Yes. So I ordered it, you guys know, and it's here. I've only tried it once, and it was a very quick try. And my goal was to have all of my papers die cut before we started tonight that way you guys didn't have to sit here while i like play with this thing but of course i didn't have time between the 4 30 of getting off work and then if i came to you guys hangry nobody would have fun so we're gonna die cut but first i have to kind of figure out what i want to do so i know that i want to use circles oh hi mama Hi, Nikki. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Alyssa. Oh, so many friends. All right. Do you guys have three? Oh, it's just on the packaging. There we go. Um, I'm going to put an image up, this one. And that's my inspiration. That was a layout that I made in, I think, 2016 and posted on Instagram. And you haven't? I definitely thought we've used my cuddle bug before. Um, I think I posted that 2016. And I keep meaning to recreate it or, like, use it as inspiration, basically scrap lift myself. But... I just haven't, and I've wanted to for like the past year, so I decided tonight is the night. Now that I have my new die cutting machine, I have no excuses, so we're going to do that. We're going to use this layout right here. Whoa, everything's backwards, right <laughs> there as inspiration, and see where we go. All right, these are the photos. I'm going to be using two 3x4s and one 4x6. I'm just making a scrapbook layout. Nothing special. I think I'm going to go 9 by 12. I know, surprise. I've been, this is only my third layout in that size, or maybe it's the fourth, but I'm really liking it. So I think we're going to go 9 by 12. I'm going to die cut the photos too, which is why I haven't done anything with those. Let's get this paper trimmed down. I feel all frazzled. Mm 
Where is my little trash? We'll definitely need those. Trash can. Okay. What are you guys working on tonight? I feel like I'm getting my bearings now. Are you crafting? Are you just watching? What are you up to? So now that that's done, this is for something else that if we have time, we will play with. Probably not. We all know I'm very slow. Especially when I'm trying to talk and craft at the same time. Um, I picked out this one, but it doesn't really match. I'm just trying to get a, a better idea of the color palette that I chose. Just watching. Ooh, Camp Wanna Craft dividers. Those are going to be fun. Project Life family album. A lot of crafting going on. Oh my gosh, I love scavenger hunts. They're my favorite. I'm trying to spread these all out because it gives me a better idea of what I have and what doesn't match and what does and the ones that I'm not feeling. Okie dokie, Mama. We'll see you in a little bit. Cut files. Oh, that's dumb. The, the software kicks you off. Okay, so here's what I picked out. There's some two like really light pinks. This one is a bur uh, burnt orange or like a rusty color. This is a peachy pink with some mauve on it. Then we have, this is like a dusty navy blue. We have a regular navy blue and another regular navy blue. Um, this is just traditional buffalo plaid. Yellow, yellow, and then gray and this little like, what is this, sea foam? And we're going to see where this takes us. Everybody's been talking about the Wolfpack collection. It's in hot demand, I think. Okay, these are the Hero Arts Infinity dies. And I love how many sizes you get. So you have tons of options for a layout like this. Let's do the photos first because then everything else will go, will be planned around the photos. So, let's see. This is the one. Perfect. And these are three photos of my feet that I took on my most recent trip. They just had some really pretty rugs at the Airbnb we were staying at. And I love feet pictures, so I just captured a few of those. That's too big. Hi, Tracy, I'm glad you're able to join tonight. Perfect. gonna get all this junk out of the way Ooh. okay I'm still learning the whole Sizzix sandwich situation here and hopefully this doesn't rattle the camera around too much for you guys it's probably more my desk that's moving okay I have to look at this. Yes, those infinity dies are the best. Okay, let's figure this out. Nope, that does not wait. Okay. 
How do I just do a regular die? I think I just put it like this, and then I put the plate in, and I guess I need the thing I'm gonna be cutting. Let's use some washi to hold that in place. I was organizing my washi today, and I realized that I have some really cute washi that I want to use more often. I mean, they're, all of the washi that I organized are also on this ring and one other ring so that I can keep them on my desk without having like 150 rolls of washi everywhere. But sometimes I feel like I miss how cute they are when they're this small, but then I see the full roll and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna use that everywhere. Let's see, my working surface is pretty small right now. I think I'll do that one there. Maybe I want to capture a little bit more of the floor so I can scoot it back a little bit. And then what I can't remember. Oh, I put this on backwards. What I can't remember is how did I put this on backwards? My brain, you guys. Not here. It's not here today. I think it's still in the weekend. Because I woke up this morning feeling like it, it should be at least Wednesday, but if not, then Friday. So it looks like you put the paper and then the dye. You have a hard time with washi lately? Do you know like what it is that you're having a hard time with? You just are uninspired to use it? Okay. Oh my gosh, this is such a different experience from my cuddle bug. Snuggle my snuggle butt, as Cody and I call it. No, cuddle butt. Snuggle butt? I don't know. Something with a butt. I love it. Okay, let's do the other two. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Just words and thoughts and everything are very difficult for me today. Okay. That on there, the right way this time. And we'll put it back through. I like to keep the cuts on the same side of the plate. I don't like the cracking noise that dyes make. It really is just too much. Ah, like that. Cody and I were talking about that. And I mean, they uh, you have to have a hard platform to like cut against. So it makes sense that it sounds like that, but ugh. Where did I put my other? Oh, it's back here. Okay, so there's those two. Hi, Jen. Okay, so I'm glad I'm not the only one that's struggling today, and I'm also glad I'm not the only one that has had this thing fly at you. Let's do this. And then get to the papers, which is gonna be the fun part because I love picking which size circles, which paper, which size circle each paper will be. Because then you start to see the layout come together. I feel like today is on this episode of Crafty ASMR, we have die cutting. Ugh. Ugh. And me being spooked by the die cutting machine every single time. I also love die cutting photos because I love seeing them like come together as that shape. 
Now let's do our papers. There, we'll keep this piece also. I'm gonna move this for a minute while I decide which size I want to use for each paper. So I'm just gonna group them quickly by color family. I guess not really, yeah, kind of by color family. This one does not have a friend. That one's gonna go with those, and that one will go with those as well. So now I can make sure that there isn't one color that has like a ton of huge circles and then all of the other colors are tiny circles so it's a little more balanced. I don't know, I don't think I want to go, I think I'll go one larger than my photo so that I have something to put behind my photo but I don't think I'm going to do these huge ones. And to map my photo, this large one at least. Where did I put it? Oh, there, there it is. Oh, this is the. What is that smaller than my? Oh my goodness, you guys. Ugh, this brain. That's the one I wanted. I think this is the color I want to map my photo against. I'll put this one. I'm going to get a few ready like that, and then I'll die cut in batches just so that it's not back and forth, back and forth. See. I feel like this one will be good for some layering circles. So go with it's a good size. Yes, so it only cuts the outside of the circle, so then you have whatever you're cutting in a circle. And if you wanted like the inside of the circle cut, you would just put this size and then one size smaller and it would cut or the outside and it would create like a donut. This paper is too wide. So I'm just gonna trim that out of the way. And since we're already doing this sheet I might as well do a couple sizes because I'm going to use this one to layer. Do this size in this one. More washy. One of these days, I'll do this type of stuff before the stream. I always get so ambitious right before I start because I get an idea and I don't want to do anything else. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I can easily do that. And then I realize logistically like what it means shoving a die cutting machine over here <laughs> with everything else. Do this size as well. Okay, I'm glad. Glad this isn't too boring. This is when we get to do our 
crafty chat anyway. I'm doing less explaining of my process. Trying to put all these under the same washi. Okay. I want to do more small circles. Like that one, and this one, and this little guy. <laughs> Tell him I am really bummed. I expect more from him and his friendship. I'm going to do two of this one as well. The blue is the darkest of all the colors in my palette, so I want to make sure it's really represented. And then for this one, we'll go with Noteworthy. Oh, I hope I've been putting these on the right way. I have not been paying attention. Looks like I have. This out of the way. And then we'll just this. Also, I was very impressed with how sparkly these plates were. I mean, I know online they seem sparkly, like they, like they say in the description, but in person they're even more sparkly than I thought they were going to be. Sometimes the pressure of the going through the machines makes the washi tape stick. And I'm just going to stick this over here. Now that we're going, I feel like we have a process. remember before I had my die cutting machine because when I did that first layout I didn't have a die cutting machine and I don't remember how I cut all of those circles out but I know it was by hand I don't know how I got the shape I think just random circular shaped items in my crafty stash I just traced them and then cut them all out so what reminded me of the, this layout, other than the fact that I've been wanting to recreate it for a while, was, who was it? Shoot, now I don't remember. Someone in the, our crafty community posted, I know someone here knows who it was, posted a photo of a circular la themed layout that they did, and they were inspired by someone else's circular themed layout. So circles are going around. Um, I probably used one punch, but I only had one circle punch at the time, so other than that one circle punch, which I think is a one and a half inch, so pretty small. But that would be a good idea. Washy everywhere. Put another here. This one go over to this one. Now I'm kind of just doing them at random. There's less planning involved, but that's fine too.
and it makes such a difference like this is a heavy thing but it makes such a difference the cuddle bug never seemed heavy enough and it always would lift off your work surface so i was pleasantly surprised when i played with this the one other time and it stayed firmly set there do i want that one i don't know yet i did find new plates the b plates for the cuddle bug on ebay with cody's help and it was like forty dollars for a set with including shipping and i figured for that much every like few months time to replace it badly because it is extremely cute it's like a light blue color I'm going to take the washi off later. I'm in my like storage area for now. I don't know if I'm going to do another huge circle. Probably not. Do this one. I'll actually add one more to this blue or green or like blue green teal and turquoise a light teal and turquoise <laughs> when does it stop being teal and turquoise because i feel like those are the dark shades of the colors when do they become new colors and what are the new colors sea foam is that the new teal i feel like we have color theory lessons every stream and it's usually related to either um topi mauve or teal and turquoise hi elizabeth doing well how are you dark bluey green yes exactly Stick that there. I'm gonna do a few sizes on this yellow because again, we don't have very many yellow sheets of paper, so I'd like the color represented well throughout the layout. I'm gonna do this one while I have them here. back through <sighs> I will say as loud and like jarring as that no noise is <laughs> so much quieter than the other one Also, you guys, something very exciting is coming in the form of a wearable item that I may or may not have showed a sneak peek of on my Instagram stories the other day. And it's coming a lot sooner than I thought and I'm very excited to share it with you guys and I just wanna show you now, which I might, I don't know. Give me a few minutes to think about it, but I might show you guys before anyone else sees. You know, we have our little crafty club here. I feel like I gotta give you guys some, some perks for being here and being excited with me and watching me die cut like 200 circles. <laughs> Let's see. Scissors. <laughs> I 
I knew you guys would agree with me that you should see before everyone else. For some reason, I just had a feeling you'd like that idea. Uh, we'll do this size. And then this size for the pink. It might be that something that says crafty lady. Kinda. I gotta move my diffuser back over there so that I had room for my mini trash can. I love this plus sign paper. The rusty orange color is so perfect. People are always struggling with the Twitch app. Seems like every stream we have someone that's, that it hasn't been their friend. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes the Insta story polls of things are brutal and people will straight up say like, no, I don't want to see. Ooh, we could represent a bit more blue with some stars. No, I feel like that throws off the, the feel. Okay, let's do these two, because now that we're down to the smaller sizes, I can just pull them off and put them on a new paper. Water break. That's what I thought too. I was like, what the heck are you even doing here voting in my polls if you're not interested in the stuff that I'm excited about sharing with you? Like, don't waste, I feel bad if they're wasting their own time. Don't worry about me, I'm fine, but like, that's your time that you're spending voting in a poll that you don't want to see. Um, that one, where's the other? I wanna make sure that I'm not doing the same sizes of the same, like, similar paper. Cause this is the same shade as the little buffalo plaid, buffalo plaid pattern. Whew. I'm just reading your guys' comments. It's throwing me off even more because I'm laughing at them instead of paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, since these three are attached, I'm just gonna slap them all on this sheet over here. It's off screen, but I will show you momentarily. Okay. And then this one will go on that other sheet. Oh, and then we have to do this one. That was the sheet that I was putting them on. Oh no, it's too wide. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it this way. Um, I'm doing a layout with circles. 
so just cutting a bunch out so I have a variety of sizes in the color palette that I want. Take these three, put them on this sheet. Washi flying everywhere. Again, too wide. Oh, sorry, I just like screamed at you. It's an exhausting process, <laughs> cutting out a million circles. Whenever I watch a YouTube video where someone hasn't like balanced their audio and at one point it's quiet and the next point it's like screaming at you, I get so irritated and when I get all excited and start yelling at you guys like that, it reminds me of like watching a YouTube video and then the person's like all of a sudden playing music that makes your ears feel like they're going to fall off, which is why I'm so like, so sorry about the noise, so sorry about the noise, which I've been trying to get better at because I know you guys don't mind. Yes, or the videos where the person's like trying to do a whole who who knows what with their hand and the whole camera's like shaking like that. And that's how I feel about doing things like this where I'm like rattling my desk at you. So, you know, there's a reason behind these things that I'm always apologizing for. I'm glad you haven't come across one of those. That means that you're watching some good videos, some good quality videos. Not as in content quality, as in production quality. Oh, that's not trash, that is. Yeah, shaking is terrible. Okay. Whew. Hard part is over. Let's get this out of the way and then assess what we've got going on here. I hope I have like enough and enough in the colors that I want the different sizes to be. Because I really only did like three of each color at max, I think, three or four, which isn't very much to get the patterns spread across. You, have you never seen a um, manual die cutting machine, Dre? Seriously is my crafty workout. I don't get I don't do much exercise because of my health. <laughs> so whenever I do get a mini workout in like walking around the grocery store and stuff, I'm always winded. I'm like, oh gosh. Everybody is like looking at me like I just sprinted around the store. Oh, we should play with it next time we're together. We'll cut out, we'll die cut out some, some stuff. Okay, I think we have a good balance to start with. What's this one? Let's get our paper back over here. I didn't look to see, I thought about the mat behind this photo, but I didn't think about it behind these two. So we'll see what we have. I'm almost wondering if this should have been a 12 by 12, but. <laughs> My mom is super tall. And so growing up, we always had to like, 
learn to walk really fast to keep up with her. And it just ne this is something that I've never let go of, so I still walk really fast without even meaning to. I'm just taking a water break and reading your guys' comments. Okay. Hydrated. Caught up in your, your guys' conversations. Where are my photos? Oh, they're already down. Gosh. <sighs> don't mind me, I'm just new here. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. That's, this is the side that I pulled this paper out for because it's a rusty color like these plus signs. But then I somehow landed on that side and that side goes really well too. So we may need to cut more of this so that we can, so that we can use both sides. Let's see. I have way too many circles in case you were <laughs> you were wondering if I was going to use them all. Probably not. Um, but that's a good thing because I will do another, I could do like a mini layout. I'm just catching up on this conversation. It's moving fast and I'm my brain is moving slow today, so Drea, you're cracking me up. Yeah, it is a it's not as hard to crank as it seems. I just have like little chicken wings that can't do anything because I don't work out. So they're pretty much useless. Oh, what, Alyssa, that, Cody, what do we say when, oh, is it swoop? Swoop, yeah. I don't know why I couldn't even remember that, but when we're walking and there's slow people in front of us, we'll whisper to each other, swoop, swoop, like swoop around them, and then that the person knows to go around the slow people. Um... Also, the other thing I wanted to do was I want to cut out, using the die cut, um, some florals from this white cardstock. So it's also good for florals that have like really intricate detail, or any design that has really intricate shapes and stuff. I don't have it for cutting circles. I just happen to have the ability to cut circles with it. I'm liking this color palette, but honestly, I could do without this turquoise. It's throwing me off, so I think we're going to leave that color out. We haven't used any of this pink plus pattern, or I mean grid pattern. I'm feeling like that doesn't really go anymore either. Funny how, funny how that happens. I don't have very much of that in the first place cut out. I think I had a feeling I wouldn't like it from the beginning. Although, fun fact, this was the first paper I pulled out for this layout. That's the one that like sparked the whole color palette. And then it got kicked out along with this gray. Although those are nice colors together, so. That'll make a nice layout elsewhere. And you know, I could do without this pink as well. Everyone's getting kicked out. Ruthless. Let me find another circle this shape or this size though. I'm gonna steal it from here. Put it right there. 
And then I'm going to put a different circle right there. Um, hmm. I am being being very tough. This is which Aztec. I don't know which one, this one. This is from the Wildflower collection that I'm always using. And then the majority of these. So we have this from the Wildflower collection, this yellow from the Wildflower collection. Noteworthy is from Ellie's Studio. This blue floral is from um, the Wildflower collection. And then everything else is Felicity Jane. this here because we have like a pattern going on and then same with the pinks and then the yellows we have a line which we really should have some over here to balance we'll see and then blue blue Oh, maybe we'll put, uh, I don't like even numbers, so that's not going to work up there, but we'll figure it out. And then the orange. I don't have a tiny one of the orange, but, oh, where, oh, I'm using all the buffalo plaid circles. Hmm. Where did I say I wanted orange? Oh, over here somewhere. And... Oh, thanks, guys. Okay. These in there for now and then you guys know stick to picture of it to see if it yikes my thing is in the way I'm using i'm using the screen as a screen to my screen hmm okay do let's see I'm gonna do blue, more blue up here so we're gonna swap out this wait okay wait maybe we're not doing more blue up there Surprisingly, I'm okay with this, actually. I'm going to leave it. We're going to start adhering these things. Um, what am I looking for? Tape. If you didn't see on Instagram... Oh, this photo is upside down oh it looks even better that way okay good um if you did not see on instagram there is a new download available in the subscriber download library i know this is way faster than i normally go through a layout like already adhering who am i who am i and what did i do with the real susanna um anyway <laughs> new download in the download library and there's going to be another one coming because I'm working on a second one because one turned into two and then why stop so I just am going to complete the two
I knew I would notice eventually. Even though I didn't know, I didn't know I would notice eventually. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I always notice those things eventually. So when I get, when I'm putting a layout together, I know that it doesn't really matter when I get started because in the end I will usually catch those things. <laughs> okay, I had that, after I said that, I had it immediately stuck in my head, Alyssa. Okay, while we're adhering, we'll do our, our usual little chat that we do at some point in the video where I tell you guys to make sure that you're following along on Instagram and Twitter or Twitter, either one. Um, so that is where I post the schedules and any news updates, like if I have to cancel a stream. Um, you can join the Creatives Club Facebook group. There's a link to that in my Instagram bio. Um, we do free downloads, crafty chats, crafty shares. You can share what you've been creating, all of that fun stuff. I mentioned earlier that uh, stream subscriptions are available, and we do have an exclusive download library for subscribers only, which is pretty cool, and I update it regularly. And then don't forget to follow along here on Twitch because it does help other people um, find our little crafty community, and it helps my channel grow. So I appreciate every one of you for for coming over here and hanging out with me. I don't remember how I had these. Oh, I don't like how I had those at all. Uh, I was just, I was just going, going with the flow. I guess I adhered these ones. I should do these as well. I'm just catching up with what you guys are chatting about over here. Uh oh. The video is stuck for Dre. For Andrea only. Hooray, you're back. Guess this one though. I don't know how I want this one. Like this, maybe? I think that's how it started out. Okay, let's put some adhesive on. Oh, I already did. Goodness gracious. Ah, what am I doing? Where is my brain, you guys? Ah, goodness gracious. I feel like I'm on autopilot over here, and my brain is just not on the same track that my hands are on. I didn't put any double-sided sticky tape on that one because I was in a fluster about this one, so had to add some liquid adhesive there. Still have. I'm wondering if I can get some natural light going on up in here. Hooray! What? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Cody. <laughs> I just opened those and the sun. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. The sunbeam that was coming in the window that I was so worried about was gonna come right here, went straight over my desk and into Cody's eye, like directly into his eye. He's like at the perfect height over there on the couch. <sighs> even, even Twitch is not having today for one person at least. Ah, no! <laughs> uh. Okay, you guys. Oh man, I'm gonna lose it today. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm just like in shock right now about how slow my brain is and what is actually happening. <sighs> yes, don't blind the stream manager. I need him. That's okay. Off-centered off is fine. I meant to do that, obviously. Totally looks like I meant to do that. like that um seriously oh i put it away of course It's funny that my brain is like this because just earlier today, I was Cody and I were having a conversation and I made a really good point and I acknowledged how great of a point my own point was. I like stopped the conversation and was like, Cody, did you just hear how good how strong of a point I made? Like I totally destroyed that conversation. I was so proud of my brain and like my success in the conversation and well, this is how it repays me. Um, that'll do, because all of this slid down a bit. Oh, I didn't tuck this under there. All right, we can still get it under there. Not there. All right, making progress. Ooh, you know what else I want to do? I want to grab some circle stamps to use on this layout. And I know one in particular, which is actually the one that made me think of the circle stamps. I'm gonna grab it really quick before I forget. There it is. And while we're moving things, pull my Rascog over because it has my stamps and a lot of my um, chipboard pieces and I have a lot of circular chipboard pieces which now I'm kind of wishing I didn't do so many paper circles so that I could really focus on the embellishment circles but I have all those leftover oh, I'm winded already you guys leftover die cut punches or uh, circles that I can always make a second layout and use the knowledge that I learned on this one 
on that other one. And this one. Mostly hanging off, but it'll be just a little bit. That one there. And where was this one? Right there. Looks right. Wow. We are moving right along, you guys. Yay, me too. Coming along nicely. And is a good way to use uh, my scraps. If you guys see like 300 um, circular layouts in the next few <laughs> months, you'll know why. Going to while I'm finishing up adhering these, I'm going to put the reference image back up. So if you guys, so if anybody wasn't here when I was sharing it, the layout that I'm scrap lifting kind of sort of a little bit. And I did have to scroll all the way back to 2015 so that I could pull this image from Instagram because I didn't feel like dig digging through all of my photos to find it. And it took me way longer than it should have to find it on Instagram. I almost gave up. I am glad I did not, but I almost did. Oh, this one needs to be down farther. Ah! Okay. It tore the paper a tiny bit, but not too bad, surprisingly. Um, because the, how did I have... We need our photo again. That and then what? This, like this, this one is here ish. Yes, it is too much to ask because, oh man, I feel ya. The worst is when, I've given up now, but like when you have a cat hair or a dog hair that is somehow tucked into your adhesive, so then it's like poking out from behind a photo or something and you can't get it out. I, I have a ton of layouts. I look back on them and there's like a cat hair poking out from behind the adhesive. Last two. It always happens. Nothing fits as well the second time. Okay. 
that's how it is going to be. <laughs> a wink and a like, you're welcome. They're helping you embellish. You should be thanking them. All right. I know it never it never comes out as nicely as the first time you lay them out which is why usually I do like this awkward like lift one side of the photo put a piece of tape down pull it out stick it down and then do the other side and I like maneuver my way around but I figured with this many pieces that was not really a good use of time all right for the circle stamp the first one that I was talking about I want to use this one that says May a bunch of times in a circle. This is from the April Studio Calico stamp subscription. Ooh, I bet that would fit really nicely. Oh, one side only this one right here. It's the exact size. Hmm. Good to know. You know the drill, you gotta get your skin funk on the brand new stamp. I haven't used the May circle yet. Cause I really haven't done any May documenting actually, other than the May layout that we did with the Studio Calico kit. A few streams back. All right, where do I wanna put this? We have this one cat toy that has really only been popular with one of our cats. It's like her favorite toy ever. And our other cat recently discovered it, even though we've had it for like five years. And she just can't get enough of it. And I just looked back at her and she was like rubbing it all over her face like it was the best thing she's ever experienced, ever. Skin Funk is your band name? Oh, good. Good, I'm glad. Because I only go see people in concert with the band name Skin Funk, specifically. <laughs> just put it on a t-shirt, you're just walking around with a shirt that says Skin Funk on it. Ew, and the wave. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, I am dead, you guys. Stop it. Okay, I'm kind of thinking about hanging the stamp off one of the edges. Okay, I'm taking the reference image down. And now I'm going to down here, hanging off, I'm thinking. Yes, to the left of the bottom, this bottom floral. That's what I'm thinking as well. grabber i'm also thinking maybe i will do it in a color Ooh, fun let's see let me grab some of my distress oxides stand by
We're going to do tattered rose, faded jeans. These are the ones I'm pulling out. Fossilized amber and We can't forget about my my little favorites down here, which I actually think I'm going to go with this. What did we learn it was called? Sepia. Is that correct? I think I'm pretty sure that's what we decided or what somebody told me. Someone that knows more than I do. I don't know how far down I'm going to put it, so I don't know where the stamp inking can end. So I'm just inking up the whole thing. Oh, cute. I pushed, I kind of like slid the stamp a little, which was obviously my fault. And so this may and this may, if you're up close, are kind of like little blobbies, but that's okay. I'm thinking I might do Oops. I didn't think I didn't think about that at all. Trying to find a place. I'm going to put that on top of my diffuser because the top of my diffuser is plastic. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we can add. Just for a little bit, like, of dimension and texture. these right here so I have like a half circle Ooh, oh, whoa I'm flinging things at myself love this that's cute matches the color palette nicely what else can I find these little things. Um, this is cute. It has like a heart says one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I only have three photos, but I'm not really going to be doing any journaling. And I foresee those being a good use, maybe on the next circle layout, if it's something that I want to do a lot of journaling. Um, using the numbers to like what am I trying to say? The numbers match up. Oh my gosh. The chipboard circle numbers match up with the journaling numbers. Gosh dang it. What else? All of my circular chipboard pieces are from Allie Edwards. Because I was a long time ago subscribed to her story kit. Um, and I just still have a lot of the chipboard pieces because for a while there I wasn't really using chipboard pieces. These are from Studio Calico. You like it at the bottom. This piece, this love it, you like this at the bottom. It's kind of what I was thinking too. I'm going to leave it there, but I'm not going to adhere it until I make like my final decision. But I like the balance of color. 
those are a little too big i'm thinking small circles like this since we already have so much going on um i like the color of this thing that says go and since we were somewhere like we went somewhere i feel like it works so i like that there and then i want to do one more piece with dimension or it could be flat even, but just one more circular piece that is not a piece of paper, basically. Um, these are old from Gossamer Blue. What do we have here? These are Felicity Jane. Hmm. Oh wait, what are these ones? These are also Gossamer Blue. I think that one's going to be our third one because it has like a black and white feel that I kind of it ties in with this noteworthy and since I only have one piece of that I want something else with that kind of vibe to come in this one I for sure want to do right here this layout is much busier than I normally like but not opposed to trying new things occasionally or maybe I should say not it's not more busy it's just or not busier more busy busier the correct term is busier right it sounds super strange to me at this moment in time um what was I saying oh not busier just busy in a different way you guys ever have words that like you clearly know the word or the phrase, but when you say it out loud, it just sounds strange and incorrect, even though you know it's not. I don't, I had that moment just now. I think I'm also going to peel the back of this one off. Now I think I can open the things. Is that okay, Cody? Okay. I like the natural light. On our brightness a little, get some natural light going on. Go. Sneaked. Is that the correct term? Or is it snuck? I snuck. I feel like sometimes we we speak so much that like the words we speak start to sound all strange I really like that this area right here is empty I feel like it grounds the layout so I'm trying not to put anything there I think I'm going to go with that instead. Just because I don't want to put something in that other spot. Here it is. Ugh, just peeled that second piece right off. Okay. Now I'm going to add my date, which I need to look up really quick. using my phone to look up date. I want to say it was the 17th.
Yes, May 17th. I thought that, okay, yeah, that's what I thought, because I have heard the word sneaked, but I use snuck because to me it just sounds weird, like you said. Okay, May 17th. I'm going to put the date. I don't know if I want... Um, I think I'm going to keep it simple for once and just stamp my date once, which my hand has like the urge to just stamp all over the place right now. Okay, I will. Gosh. Ah, I love it. I love it too much. <laughs> people that know the english words so good are my favorite my sister has a master's degree in um i don't know the technical word term because like she has a title but it's basically like i think journalism and um editing and so she's my go-to when i when i say something that sounds incorrect and then like in an email or something and I want to verify and Google is confusing me, then I text her. Now I'm thinking, and this was the idea that I got from does anybody know who posted that photo of that circular photo layout today? Someone posted a layout with circular, uh, a bunch of circles, and said that they were inspired by someone else who had posted a layout with a bunch of circles. Well, anyway, I hope somebody knows so that I can give them proper credit, but that person had stamped around their circles um and i liked that idea so yeah no i could be scrolling forever and i wouldn't know um i wouldn't know who posted it so if anybody knows let me know i have my trusty everyday things stamp set from my shop and i am going to put this makes me happy do everyday adventures and love this life. There's like cat hair stuck to my stamps even. Um, where, where do I want to put where? I think I want to put this makes me happy around this photo. Just bending it. And I'm going to try to somehow get it onto the acrylic block. Wait, how do, you, how do people do this? I don't, I clearly don't do this often. Not, when, not in my skill set. <laughs> there has to be a way, right? Grand idea is not happening. Uh, okay. It's not it's not happening for me, guys. I'm not that skilled. Hello, hi. <laughs> oh no. Laughing at your guys' comments. Put down the block where you want this. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Good night, Mandy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Only 
If only my brain was working today. Thank you for your assistance. Put my head in here. Try to... Wanted to see. Oh. Then place, curve your stamp, and put a block over it. Oh, oh, I just did it that way. Either way, though, it helped me, so thank you. And I think I'm going to go in with that same ink because I just love that color. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Also, I think I said it last time, but this archival ink does ghost stamping or like second generation stamping, whatever you choose to call it, really well. It doesn't dry out super quickly, so it holds the ink there really for a really long time, which allows you to do nice, clean generation stamping. All right, now we're gonna do Everyday Adventures. And I think I want that one right here. My head, sorry. I'm trying to keep it out of the way so you can see what's going on but honestly it's not that exciting it's just me trying to figure out what i'm doing here we go This is so different from what I've been doing recently that it's just really exciting because, I don't know, it's different. Also, every time I put a stamp back on this stamp sheet, it gets closer and closer to this edge. And I don't know how I did that. Now they're just falling off. They're falling off the top also. It's like they inched to the right and they inched to the top and now they just don't even fit. There we go. Good night, Alyssa. Thanks for joining in. I'm so glad you were here. Oh, you guys, I'm loving the circles too. And thank you, Dre. I'm... Love it. Okay, let's, let's try this one now. Uh, not working well. I think the stamp is shorter, makes it more resilient. That's as close as it's going to get. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Nope, you spelled it right.
You guys, this layout is so fun. Okay, move all that out of the way since we didn't end up using it. Now I'm thinking we need, what do we need? <gasps> Finally, an excuse to use these little wood veneer circles that I have been keeping in this dish with my hearts and stars for the perfect time to use them. Now is that time. Oh, enamel dots. That would have been a good one too. I've been wanting an excuse to use these circles because I don't know, they just, they're not really polka dots, so I have a hard time using them. And I feel like this is perfect layout for them. Was that because you knew they were on my desk? Hmm, where do I want these? Actually, I think these came from you, Drea. I think these were in your giveaway pile or something and I stole them. Stole them with permission, of course, but I still stole them. Hmm. I want this there. But now it's really heavy over here, so I'm going to have to add two odd two up here sure then we'll do some splatters i love the the like nature naturey feel that wood veneer brings to a layout I'm always looking for an excuse to use them. Always. Ah. Good night, Babs. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. Were they really from Gossamer Blue? I thought they were Ellie's studio because I have a ton of little tiny hearts and stars from Ellie's studio. All right, now for some splatters. Although, gosh darn it, you guys, I'm about to go, I'm about to go overboard. You know how I say, I, it's like a very fine line between calling it quits and adding too much, but this is just screaming for some navy somewhere from my navy pen. So I'm thinking maybe some circles in a few of these to bring some like scribbles to it because I don't want to do an outline because it feels too like constricting. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go guys. I'm about to be very silent because it takes a lot of focus and my hand is already shaking so wish me luck. I only went over the side once, which was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We're going to do this yellow one right here. And 
and then one more. I'll do this pink one up here. Okay, now it needs some splatters. Ah! I just threw that across my desk. ready to protect our desk background. I rarely take precautionary measures. I usually just go for it and then wipe off the desk after, but I want to get really close to this corner right here, so. And then I'm going to do this corner, and then I'm going to do that corner, I think. Actually, I'm not going to do the corner. I'm going to do right there. I like it on my photo, but not that far in. Okay, and then I'm going to do right here. Next stream on Thursday, I am for sure bringing back the black splatters. Also, next stream on Thursday is when we're going to do um, mixing Felicity Jane products with other products from your stash because a few people had asked for that, um, I think last week. And so this was kind of like a a first dive into it because the majority of these papers were Felicity Jane, but the next stream I'm going to do the papers, embellishments, stamps, everything like that. So if that's something that you guys were wanting from the last week, if you were voting yes for that, make sure that you're here on Thursday to see that. Um, it does take me a while to get the replays up on YouTube, so if you want to see it in a timely fashion, make sure you're here. Okay. I'm not leaving yet. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Here is the finished layout up close. And of course, you'll see it again on Instagram. So you can like zoom in and stuff. But I'm happy with how it turned out. Okay, let me set it aside so it can dry. And then... I was going to die cut, I have the hiccups. This is like the fifth time in just a few days I've had the hiccups. And I, I don't know why. I was going to die cut some floral pieces. Actually, I think I still will. Let me grab them. But I also kind of just wanted to have a play with a few things. So we're just going to spend the rest of our time um, playing with a few things that I've been wanting to try out. Oh, my floral dies. Around here somewhere. Here they are. And, yeah. I think that's the one I'm going to play with. Cool. Let's bring that thing back up.
Good night, Dre. Thanks so much for joining. Hoisting this guy back up. And there's really just two things that I really wanted to do, and that is good night. Good night, Caitlin. Um, I want to try out this embossing folder that I have yet to try out, and then I just want to cut out my florals. So, let's get this up here. I'm kind of working on like a teeter-totter type situation. <laughs> Pull out the dies. And there's two different ones. I want to cut them both. I'm hoping I can do so. Ah, yes. Nice. That way it's skinny enough to fit through the width of the die cutting machine. Oh, that is perfectly okay. What are you, oh, I guess I'm kind of taking you away from your fussy cutting if I'm asking you questions, but I'm going to. What are you fussy cutting and gluing? Just certain things on a layout, or are you working on something for a, pro a particular project? Okay, let's put that down. These floral dies are from Spellbinders. And they are super pretty. Oh, geez. This one is actually really difficult. And I'm going to run it through twice because I previously, I think it was my die cutting machine or my plates, but it did not cut through previously. Oh, fun. Yes, I know exactly what photos you're talking about. Oh, fun, I love that. If you do end up sharing a photo of that on Instagram, please use um, the MIM crafty stream hashtag. It's right here on the screen. Um, so I can see it, because I would love to see that. Where is my little pokey thing? Here it is. I'm just getting out the like miscellaneous pieces, the little filler filler pieces. Aren't these pretty dyes? <gasps> Boo, Kai! Shut up. This is the first time he's ever seen rice aroni. He's funny. Uh. Oh, I ripped my die because I was laughing and poking and not paying attention to what I was doing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, look how pretty that is. Oh wait, I left one of the little filler pieces in there. Wow, look at that. And yes, this is the die that I used in that layout where I painted them. Um, but because I had all those issues getting the little center pieces out because of my 
uh, plates. I didn't get to see them in like their full glory. He did not. He bought one of every flavor. <laughs> oh, he's funny. That's funny. That's an exciting thing for him then. I'm, I am excited for him. Okay, let's do this other one. Jeez. Oh, My shoulders are going to be destroyed after this video. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow all sore like I did some sort of arm workout. I already know it. I can tell because it's all sore by my collarbone already. And <laughs> I've used the die cutting machine like, what, 10 times tonight? Oh, man. Sometimes it's those little things that are the best things. I get that. I discovered putting Nesquik in my iced coffee in the morning, and it's pretty much one of the greatest inventions I have ever stumbled across because it's chocolate milk and coffee at the same time. Oh, man. Doesn't get much better. And no, I'm not supposed to have Nesquik, but I do drink it anyway because oh, I love a good glass of chocolate milk. Yes, so that's actually where it started, was Cody was putting hot chocolate mix in his coffee to make like a mocha, but he would do hot coffee. Um, and I can't have the hot chocolate mix because it has milk in it. Um, the mocha and I, mix. Huh? You could have the mocha mix. No, remember you used to put the Swiss Miss things in there? Yeah, and then I got that, that mocha stuff from the grocery store. Yeah, but I'm, ta I'm talking about before that. Oh, okay. Cody. Coming in halfway through a conversation. Um, the whole time. Oh, he's been here the whole time. Have you been listening? Yeah. Oh. Sorry I insulted you then. <laughs> anyway. And I couldn't have the hot chocolate mix, the original one, to clarify. And I love chocolate milk so much. And I drink iced coffee in the morning, so I kind of just took his idea and ran with it and made it into something I could have. Us rebellious ones. Okay, let's take this one out and see how it came out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I love these dyes so much. The first, the last time I, um, used them in that one stream I think it was like two or three ago two or three streams ago um that was the first time I had used these dyes because I just grabbed them in their um international scrapbook day sale and I was I was disappointed not because I thought the quality of the dye was poor but just because I thought like oh this is how they're always going to cut and I'm going to have to deal with that like seriously holy cow that is beautiful um they were hold on where is my packaging they were part of the they were the june large die of the month but i was able to purchase them separately and i actually have a direct link to those in the video that i made this layout on not that oh, gosh you I'm just like talking away over here. In the video that I made, I'm going to it for you. That I made that one layout on if you were here for that one. YouTube channel. It was on. I think I found it because I had a, aha I did find it good guess good guess Suze 
I'm putting the link in here for you. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I just know how difficult it was for me to find, and so I don't want you to have to deal with that. I think because it's their, um, it was one of their large die of the months, or just their die of the month in general, it was kind of hidden away on their website. But I was able to buy it individually. I'm not, I'm not, I don't get their die of the month. I'm gonna do another one of each of these. Uh-oh. There we go. There's a lot of static over here. I'm trying to save enough to play with that embossing folder, which is why I'm cutting this all strange. Kind of bent my die a little because the my plate was bent a little. Also, pulling the die out of or the yeah the the cut out of the die. These are like extra satisfying. I don't care for butterflies either. I'm starting to kind of use them occasionally, um, but I'm very particular. They have to be kind of sort of realistic looking, but not creepy realistic. And I can generally only use like one or two before I get like, I don't know, kind of weirded out. I don't know what it is about the butterfly embellishments or papers like in our crafty industry, but they freak me out. Seriously, guys, look how I feel like that that seriously came out really strange, but look how pretty that is. Ah, oh, gosh, sometimes I'm just like so amazed by the things that we have, like the fact that we have these like metal plates that cut out super pretty, intricate designs. Like, I don't know. I'm just fascinated by all of it. Yeah, butterflies in real life don't bother me. I'm not, like, creeped out by them or anything. There's just something about the way they're... I don't know if it's the way they're, like, portrayed. I don't know what it is about them, but something about scrapbooking supplies or crafting supplies and butterflies just... They look creepy. They look like creepy versions of a butterfly.
I didn't run this one through twice, which I knew I should have because of how intricate it is, just to make sure everything was cut really crisp. And I did rip that same spot that I ripped on the other one. So I'll need to train my brain to remember to run this one through twice. Oh, okay, I ripped another spot on this one. That's okay. I'll just make sure that those are hidden by, I don't know, embellishments or a photo or something. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm really excited to use those. Let's put those aside. And now we're going to play with... I'm going to put this pokey thing over here because I'm going to grab for it kind of frequently. And then I don't know the combination for this. Let's see. Do I open this up? Texture. Okay. What do we do here? Put it in and then put it in here. 3D textured impressions. I think I'm just using, because I know textured impressions are like the Sizzix brand. I don't have any of, oh, I do have Sizzix, but I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're textured impressions. We're going we're gonna to try it like this and see how it does. And if it doesn't, oh, that, there we go. I guess that answered my question. Um, I am probably, after I play with this embossing folder, going to head out. Okay, so then note to self, this is how I do a regular embossing folder for when I don't remember. But see, no, because that's too thick. It's just one. I'm very confused. It needs like a shim. Is that what they're called? I need, what do I need? What am I doing? You have to leave, oh. So I put it through like this. Wait, obviously from this side. Come on, Susanna. I'm telling you, this brain, it's gonna retire. We're just gonna trade it in. And then I put this on the top. Ah, aha, aha. Thank you, thank you for teaching me. Okay, that feels right. Oh, and then I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Move this out of the way. Holy moly, you guys. I, I'm, I think, I don't know why I'm so amazed by all of these things. I think because my cuddle bug just never really provided like wowed results. I never looked at something that came out of the cuddle bug and was like, oh wow, that's really amazing. Like I am right now. The texture on this is incredible. It has so much texture to it. Know the lights are washing it out because it's white but like that is crazy and I love how wonky these stars are so I'm playing with an idea of obviously you know people emboss and they ink over the top but I'm playing with the idea of embossing fun foam so that I can use them as stamps and then I already know I already like use my extra like this sheet will go in my mixed media stuff because when you use your jelly plate you can use um the lumpy side, what is that, embossed or debossed? I never embossed, right? Um, you can use that on your jelly plate to make different impressions. 
So I want to kind of try the same thing, but with fun foam through the embossing folder to make a, uh, like a stamp. So maybe we will include that in Thursday's stream. But for now, guys, I am going to head out, give this brain of mine a rest. So I really appreciate you guys all hanging out with me tonight. Don't forget to share your projects using our MIM Crafty Stream hashtag right here. It's listed on the screen um, so we can see what you're creating. And then, yeah, don't forget to follow along here on Twitch so that you get notifications whenever I go live. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Oh, your sneak, my sneak. Oh, I forgot. Oh, sneak peek. Yes. Okay, wait. I'm going to grab it, so don't leave yet. Thank you for reminding me because I would have completely forgot. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because you guys have to have a little bit of suspense going on. But I will show you this. That's the sleeve of one of them. So there's your other, there's your secondary sneak. You get the sleeve. You get the the one of them phrase and then that that's all i'm giving you but it's very exciting it'll be available soon along with its friends and so if you want to <laughs> if you want to see it when it does come out make sure you're following me on instagram because that is where it will first be shown Alrighty, friends I'm excited that you're intrigued and I can't wait to share it with you. Um, you're the best. That's all I have to say. You guys are just the best for being my little crafty pal club. Alrighty, guys, I'm already looking forward to Thursday. I will see you at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Good night.